Howdy folks of YouTube, Farmer Brad 6 here, and today is going to be kind of a double whammy kind of day. We are going to go over some first impressions of two different types of tobacco. Now, first one on the chopping block is a sip. what I'm smoking right now. I got a legend. Corn cob pipe month, but every month is corn cob pipe month for me. What I'm smoking on right now is a Scudo Navy Deluxe. First impressions off of a Scudo Navy Deluxe. It is a tobacco that tastes like tobacco. It's very mild. Very mild, tastes like tobacco. It tastes like it tastes like Orlick, but without the hay. It's perfect if you're a cigar smoker, on pipes, for me anyway. Pretty good blend. Just a very mild, earthy, tobacco-flavored tobacco. Imagine that. I'm smoking tobacco, and I'm tasting tobacco. My second first impressions. I, I've been seeing this out there. I've seen these guys ranting and raving over quite a few OTCs. So I've been trying these OTCs. I went out and I got some, or through the Pipe Tobacco of the Month, I got some Captain Black Royal. Bam. Loved it. Then I went out and I got some Carter Hall. I don't see what the big deal was on it, but different strokes for different folks. So then the next step in the glorious thing is good old... Mixture number 79 by Settler. This is the empty box, but you can still smell what's in it. As soon as you open the pouch, you get slapped with an anaise flavor. Or some people don't know what anaise is, black licorice. Which I like black licorice. So I packed my pipe full of it. And I've smoked two or three bowls of it so far. In fact, I was smoking some at work, and this was the pipe I was smoking it out of. It has a pack of, a pack of bowl, it was a little moist, so let it dry for a minute, and it still didn't dry to satisfactory, so whatever the hell they spray on it, they spray it good. Pack the bowl, I'm like, okay, black licorice. The flavors that I received off of it were the flavors of black licorice a little bit, but kind of like a old lady perfumey black licorice and baby powder. 
the flavors I received were like as if I went to a square dance and picked up the oldest couple there. Packed them into a pipe and lit it up. Baby powder and black licorice. With like a uh, a filling on the back of your throat like you just inhaled a whole bunch of perfume. Which I mean if you're into black licorice and old lady perfume and baby powder, go for it. It's not quite my cup of tea. But I'm going to try. I'll finish smoking the pouch. See if I can develop a flavor for it. I'm having a feeling it's like uh, like beer. You uh, most people start out with the good old American lagers. And if their taste buds have not quite developed, if they go straight to an IPA, it's like, oh crap, that's, whoa, that's gross, this is bitter, this is sour, this is nasty. At least that's my opinion of what happened to me with drinking IPAs. <clears throat> my first time I drank them, I absolutely detested IPAs. They were gnarly, gross, sour. But now, if my budget willing, I will drink an IPA over any other beer. So, I'm wondering and hoping that is the reason why what Mixture 79 is all about. But for me right now, it's kind of grody. Um... I don't want to deter anybody else from not sampling it, but those are just the notes that I got off of it. It's it's everybody's palate. Everybody's palate's different. Like uh, Pottsville, he put up a, a review on it the other day, and he's like pretty much has the same opinions that I do, but some others absolutely love the th stuff. So, <coughs> that's my little short review. It's lovely daylight savings time, which is freaking garbage. It's 4 o'clock right now, it's like, or 4.30, it's probably 5 o'clock right now, and it's almost dark. I'd rather get up and go to work in the dark and come home, have a couple hours of daylight, than this get up in its daylight, come home, and I have an hour of daylight. Because, I mean, can't even piddle around the yard, can't even do anything. By the time I pull my tools out, get anything going, it's time to put my tools back. Garbage. But anywho, y'all have a good day, and uh, light one up and enjoy. Oh, also, has anybody out there heard from uh, Pilgrim in po Progress? I really, really, really enjoyed his videos, and I've noticed that he hasn't put any videos up in four weeks, something like that. I keep checking on him, make, see if he's there. I've sent a couple messages, or posted a couple comments, but didn't get any replies back kind of interested on what he's doing or if he's quit the old YTPC or if he just doesn't have any content that he's came up with or something I don't know I'm, I'm kind of worried about the feller I really enjoyed his videos so if anybody's got any updates on that or has heard from him drop a line in the bucket saying hey yeah he's okay or hey dude if you're out there and you're watching this video drop a little line in there say hey yeah you know I'm I'm, I'm still alive It'd be cool. I really enjoy your stuff, and there's a lot of people out there that really enjoy your stuff. 
And I see that you, you've you already stroked over uh, 100 subs, so... A lot of people like to see your stuff. So, Alright, y'all take care. I'm going to finish up this bowl. We'll grab me another beverage. And enjoy this Monday first day back since time changed. Which sucks. Any of you Arizonians, I really hate you right now. Thank you. Bye-bye.